Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and it is now time for Liv's build guide. I've seen a lot of requests for this since uh, she's been featured. She's actually being featured now in their Facebook page. So let us move on to Liv. Where is she? So Liv is now ascended. She's now at uh, 72 for me. And uh, let's take a look at her stats, guys, on uh, which stat you would um, prioritize in terms of building her. So first and foremost, the, the stat that she is going to be needing is going to be her AP. So AP is actually the way to build her. Um, unless if you're going to go with, um, with the healing, you know, the healing effect, then you go with the bonus healing effect. So that is the stat that you. If, if she if she is leaning towards healing her build, then bonus healing effect. If she's leaning towards more damage, then definitely is going to be AP. The other stat that I think uh, if you can you know uh, put uh, an, an additional stats too would be HP and also uh, ultimate energy recharge. So those are the four that I mentioned. So AP, bonus healing effect, if you want to go with the healing route, HP, then ultimate energy recharge. Those are the four. Moving on to her recommended plays. Okay, guys. So as for her plays, I'm not recommending any three star for her. You will have to start with the four star that you have available. One that I think you have already is going to be Dr. Gong Sun. So increase AP by 10 upon upon using the skill. AP is increased by 25% for four seconds. So this is this is readily available. I'm sure you guys have a lot of this one. You can use this as a beginner play for her. The other one is another doctor. <laughs> Lots of dumb doctors here. Dr. Watson. So Watson is also increased in AP, but after casting a skill, has a 40% chance to gain energy, which also contributes to recycling of energy. Um, after this one, the next that I think I would uh, recommend would be, let's go up, five star already. So, if you go, if you're going to build her with a healing, um, you know, heal, towards healing, uh, towards healing or a healer with a little bit of damage, so I'm I would have to suggest Ohita. I would not suggest um, the other one. The other one, the other possibility for healing is Lobelia, but I'm not recommending this because it's only ten percent. You will need a bigger percentage of heal, which is fifteen percent. And also, when a healing tar when healing a target, every fifteen percent missing HP on the target will increase their healing received by eight percent. So this is a big boost to her. If you don't have um um you know uh, sorry, if you're preferring the healing build, then Ohita is your must for your play. And the last one, if you're leaning towards giving her increased energy in terms of recharge, then Hall Moes is another five star play that you can lean on. So, because this one has a lot of goodies in it, after casting a skill, deal damage deals an additional damage equal to 5% of the target's current HP up to 20% AD or AP. This effect can be triggered at most one time after casting a skill, which is actually very, very nice. Okay, so again, just to recap the plays, you have Dr. Gong Soon, Dr. Watson, you have Ohita here for healing, and then you have Holmoes for additional energy. So those are the four recommended plays for her. We'll go to skill priority and see what uh, we can customize her skill with. Okay, so what I meant was how can we, you know, prioritize and customize. So these are her skills. So priority will come with the active skill because um, a lot are really using her as a primary healer. So 
you go with this one Sirens Melody because this is Heal All Allies. Unless if you just own, own, and unless if you just want to heal one, you know, one um, ally, then you go with Mesmerizing Tide. But I would go with this, guys, because this one also deals um, damage and also does a lot not really a lot um, decent heal so that is why you need Uhita for this one this one <clears throat> i don't like this because this is only one ally so go for this one as a priority siren's melody for active next uh priority first for upgrading is going to be your ultimate because this skill has nice damage so ultimate um when ultimate ends dealing true damage equal to 7.5 percent of the recorded hydro damage again this skill is nice when it comes to dealing damage and after the ultimate we'll go to the passive the passive is um although it does give uh, encroaching cold to both your active and ultimate uh skill uh this one um, increases also her attack speed, which gives her, you know, more more offensive uh, capabilities. But again, you're not. This one is more of uh, basic attack speed, so you're not really developing your attack speed. You're more on getting this because of the encroaching cold that it gives to your skill and ultimate damage. And the last one that you should level up, of course, is the basic attack. Okay, so that is it. We're off to Awaken. Okay, so I got Liv in an off-banner pull. Um, so phase one is bonus healing, which is nice because she has built-in heals. Energy refund, of course. This one is Siren's Melody. This is the heal all allies. Now hits... And heals twice and removes burning effect on all allies, which is anti-burning. So anti-burn teams or enemies. So this is actually um, preferred because it depends on the skill that you're using. The other, yeah. And this one is with the other one. For phase four, uh, for every one stack of freezing pulse, consume heals the lowest ally for. 110 freezing pulse is connected to the passive yep so once you awaken her this will add additional healing to her kit because of uh, the lowest um lowest hp of lives uh heals ally with the lowest hp for 110 of lives ap which is actually a nice add so this is actually for every stack of freezing pulse okay so the more stacks it also adds another heal so for every so basically it can be multiple so this one is basic attack has a 50 percent chance of inflicting encroaching cold which is nice which is going to be more of a debuff type so you have a choice whether to build to go with this route with more debuffs or more heals. So for uh, phase five, so while Ice Spring is active, heals all allies of Liv's H AP every second. So Ice Spring is going to be, what is Ice Spring? I don't see Ice Spring here. Let's go back. Okay, so that's five, right? So while Ice Spring is active, heals all allies for 40% of lives AP every second. While Ice Spring is active, restores 3% ultimate energy to all allies every... This is heal, this is energy. I think I know who Ice Spring is. Someone's Ice Spring. It's the fish that... Uh, I think it's a swordfish. Kinda. It's the fish, hydro fish that she has in her back. So again, as you get more copies of live, I I actually was hoping that they would have extended the live banner. I could have pulled for that. At least another copy of live for phase four. So at this point, live is going to 
be better actually with more copies. So upon using a skill instantly gain two stacks of freezing pulse can only occur ev once every 20 seconds. Overflowed freezing pulse can restore 10 per self of self energy. Self ultimate energy. So I think this one is better. So gain two stacks of freezing pulse because you can fuel that for your other abilities. And that is it. So so far if you're asking me um where or who live works uh works well with um i'd say any team um it's really hard to build her um her best skills are actually with multiple copies of her so right now um she can well I just I just actually want to acknowledge that she can be tier S eventually if the heals are enough um, and also the damage. Um, she's really a jack of all trades at this point. So um, I cannot compare her yet with Nuno in terms of the amount of heals. But so far from what I've seen, if you give her enough copies, she will her heals are going to be added as you do awaken her so she might be going up to s eventually but at this point she's at a um just have to just have to test her out with a maxed potential lib so again that is it guys so she's a jack of all trades damage debuff in healing rolled into one i doubt she's going to be a very good you know a a better healer than nunu because she has a lot going on in her kit but if she is then she's going to be op but i don't think so i don't think so she is she's she's like her swiss army knife so damage debuff and healing so that is it guys so hopefully you you know you uh, can build your live for those who have been requesting this video because um, encroaching cold teams are going to be out soon. I'm going to be building one uh, as soon as I complete uh, my, my own team as well. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.